this is not how I thought I would end college. My school, where I'm from, has really been impacted by the virus. We expected something to happen soon, but we didn't know it would be this um, drastic so quickly. When uh, my chancellor first sent out an email telling us that UCSB is going remote, I was um, shocked. Students who were off campus during spring break were essentially told to not come back to campus um, and they were ordered to either stay or go back to their permanent address. Last week was my last time in the facilities. School is closed, students were instructed to evacuate and join their families, but I cannot because I'm an international student and I cannot leave because of travel bans. As an international student, I do not have a place to stay here and currently I'm in a pretty sticky situation. My visa was rejected this week. Um, so I literally do not have a place to go back right now. And my only choice uh, is to stay here in America and hopefully Georgetown. I have chosen to stay in Santa Cruz. This is mainly because um, if I am exposed to the virus and I'm asymptomatic right now, um, I don't want to go back to my parents' house and accidentally expose my family. When I came home yesterday, I had a lot of paranoia around. I really just sat through a flight. I really just went through two of the biggest airports and who knows what I touched. And I had this fear that, okay, if I come home, am I gonna give anything to my parents? Am I gonna give anything to my older like uh, relatives, like my grandparents? Being here in LA County where the cases are soaring and doubling and tripling with each day is uh, really heightening my fear. I may not be able to see my parents for an extended period of time. Um, due to their age, they are in one of the at-risk categories, and I'm very afraid that the next time I look at my phone, someone I know and love will be gone. Few of us are left here, but um, everyone I know and care about is halfway across the globe. So um, it is definitely very hard to go through this on your own. Housing is not a problem because I already live off campus. But I believe it is a great challenge to see all of my roommates and classmates leave and join their families while I cannot do that. It is very, very hard to be productive and work online when you're very worried for your family who's in a very serious outbreak. The whole university is now pass-fail, mandatory. You can't even opt in to take a letter grade because for people who are going home to family situations that they have to take care of a loved one who's sick with this illness or you know provide for their family because someone might have lost a job, uh, they can't worry about their grades right now. No one knows what's happening. But in terms of the professors in the universities, they're doing the best they can. They don't know how to cope just as much as we don't know how to cope. It is, you know, really difficult to cater to all of the needs of students online. And I think a lot of classes will struggle. We really rely on the student to professor contact and relationship. And I just don't think that's really possible online. Having our classes being moved to online has definitely lessened the quality of our education. Like my science classes, all of our all of our labs have been um, just canceled. What really stood out to me is just how radically unprepared the education system was for this switch. I know some of some professors in the humanities who didn't even use email before all of this went down. There are a lot of students out there that are really feeling lost right now and really need a friend and they need someone to talk to because everything they knew was ripped away from them in a set of emails. A lot of extracurriculars um, on campus have also been totally eliminated. Um, I personally do research in a lab and I am not allowed to go on campus currently um, unless I have um, things that I need to keep alive. I'm an athlete on the track team. Our entire spring season got canceled which is really tough. The organization that I'm the president of, all of our competitions were canceled, which I understand why. For the safety of everyone, I agree with that they were canceled. I cried a lot when I found out that all of the work we had put in for months and months and months wasn't gonna happen this year. I am in my final semester of college. I was supposed to be abroad, had that taken away from me. I'm supposed to be graduating, walking in May, and there's a chance my commencement ceremony could get canceled. Today, actually, we just got an email that our commencement ceremonies have been canceled. It feels surreal, like it's, I'm not even like sad, or I, I know I should be sad and disappointed, and I, I guess I am to an extent, but it doesn't feel real. Having to pick up, uh, you know, 
leave everything has been very, it's been a lot for me to process. Not getting to say goodbye to friends in person has led to a lot of really emotional FaceTime calls and um, texting calls, just thanking them for being a friend for four years. And I should have said stuff before coronavirus happened and I'm learning that. Um, I go through periods where I feel very angry about this situation. And I also go through periods where like, I, I'm just in shock. Like, I can't believe this has happened. So a high moment of this experience is, you know, just a sense of community and love and support. Going on Facebook, different pages have been really uplifting with other students and new graduates being in the same position. And it's making me feel a lot better. They're just a nice dose of humor um, and a place for all, all the students that are more or less my age to come together in solidarity and, and just laugh about things and s provide support if things are more serious. Like we're all in this together and the class of 2020 will be remembered for sure <laughs> with all of this and uh, we will be celebrated one day or another even if it's months after this pandemic. It's terrible. I may not get to have a graduation ceremony. I may not get to see some of my friends again, but in the end, it hopefully will be because lives were saved.